<laughs> now you would you would burp you would burp in your vlogs and then say the most motivational shit right <laughs> Yo, like, uh, <laughs> it's like you got you can you are capable of doing anything <laughs> <laughs> yo but you have to keep that shit raw there's some there's something about me watching content where they're exactly who they are it just makes me feel so comforting oh, i know because in my mind i'm like yo you couldn't really just pause the camera i could edit it out yeah, if i wanted <laughs> <laughs> like you you left that second to end a burp okay hear me out hear me out, hear me out. yeah look so let's say let's say there's somebody you're watching right mm. And they don't relate to you in one little bit, but they relate to you in one weird way. Oh, you'll accept them. Feel so me? that's that's like your thinking. Like if I yeah. burp right now, a man, everyone burps, so everyone's gonna relate to me. Exactly. Okay. Check me out. Ready? Mm. So a hot girl in your class. Yeah. She may not relate to you until oh wait she watches that anime too, and all of a sudden you're in love, bro. Yeah. Now to be honest, like going like and talking around in school stuff, it's really hard to break that first common barrier mm. but it's like the one you can always go to uh if you're in class oh what courses are you taking because you're already in the same program yeah i remember some girl asked me yo what program are you in and we're literally in the same class i'm like oh it's okay you're probably nervous don't worry <laughs> don't worry no, well, maybe they don't slide. know maybe maybe like you're taking different courses oh and yeah shit. That, that could be true yeah but, but in my head i'm like yo come on bro <laughs> honestly i think people some people just have a hard time like connecting too yeah like even when I was at Ryerson and I was talking to random people, a lot of people, they just, they just don't, they don't converse. Yeah. They just don't converse, but it's never a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, they need to work on it. Yeah. You and if I mean? you're and not, not everybody's ready for that. Yeah. And like the smartest, um, uh, the most successful people that come out of like any university is usually not even the ones that finish and have a degree. It's the one that finish and, but like has the most connections. Cause mm. at the end of the day, I know a club promoter who, uh, went to business school, did so shit, dropped out, but he had all these connections and bro, he's making maybe 5k per night. But that's without the degree. That's without the degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? But at the same time, it's not like he failed in life because fam, he did his thing. Like that's what he went there to do. Boom. He's out. He yeah. There's it. no failing low key. Like yeah. what's failing? <clears throat> failing is only, is only if, if you give up or yeah, you, or you no longer do what you were meant to do. Exactly. That's it. That's failing. Yeah. That's really life. Like. Cause look, are you get a job to what? To do stuff. To do what though? To work. Yeah, and then, and then I get what? What? What are you trying to go with? This? No, like what? Like let's break it down, fam. Like so, you get a job, yeah, uh, yeah. To work, to what? To make money. Okay, you, what do you do with the money? Buy stuff. Okay, so is your goal buying stuff? Mm. Why do you buy stuff? I don't know, cause I like it. Okay, you like things. Um, now that you like it, <laughs> what's next? I don't know, work more. <laughs> See, exactly. That's the thing. We're just in a cycle. We're in a constant fucking loop, bro. Oh. It's it's the moment, it's the moment you realize, yo, this, mm. this shit right here, it's gonna keep me going in a rat race. Yeah. Understand? Mm -hmm. And almost all of us were in that or are currently in that right now. I, I wouldn't say it's bad though, because it keeps people like doing stuff. Like it's a distraction. Even mm. though like you're part of the rat race, you feel me? I, I really wouldn't care because you, you're doing your thing without Garbage man, the world wouldn't run how it would That's run. That's true. Without, you feel me? That's very true. Because exactly. then we wouldn't have anybody else doing That's everything what I'm saying. So that like, nobody wants to do. Yeah. But that's tough though, right? It's like, because yeah. so you want the best for everyone, right? You want yeah. the best for everybody. But what if that purpose, even though it's, you feel me, not the one that society says makes the most money, yeah. that's their purpose. You feel me? That's, mm. that's them. They're, they're doing happy. Maybe that, that person succeeded more than anyone else who's still trying to find it. Cause a lot of people don't find their purpose in this life. Like I know a hundred years, they still wouldn't find their purpose. How do you think you feel me? How, how did you like find this? Like, was it just a like, accident? I just listened to my heart low key. Okay. Listen like, you, you know what I say? Like every time I trust my gut, I'm usually right. Mm, yeah. And the moments I don't, I always regret it. Yeah. I think if we always just trust our gut, we're going to end up exactly where we're supposed to be. Mm. But the moments we don't listen to it because of fear, because of whatever. Yeah. Those are the times you fall off the track and then that's the regret you fucking get. Yeah. I do the opposite though. Why? Because uh, my gut is always wrong. So I'll, if I have a gut feeling, I'll do the opposite. You have a wrong gut feeling? Yeah. And I proved this during my multiple choice. So I went into an exam. No. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen. No, listen. Let me finish the story and then you can you can just say whatever you want to say. So I went into my, because I'm very uh, lucky, but really unlucky because number seven. Oh, number seven is like the most unluckiest lucky number. Lucky number, yeah. Like that. yeah. So... I was in my uh, exam and I uh, I studied a bit, 
because mm. I had to do something else. So I went to the exam. It was 50 multiple choice. Yeah. So whatever I thought was the right answer in my brain, I, I circled it and guessed another one because I knew that was wrong. Wow. And it worked. I did like I did like 80% of something I didn't study. That's I did crazy. that for every single thing that I, I chose. <laughs> Yo, you're purposely like, let me fuck up. Yeah. Okay, there we okay, go. Okay, now I know the answer. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, that worked for you though? Yes. And so you have a negative intuition. Exactly. Is that what it's called? <laughs> so yeah, it's like the opposite of intuition. It's like the negative intuition. Yeah, it's but like I'm smart enough to know that oh, I got to do the opposite. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, should I, do I think this club is going to be a good club? If I had that feeling, oh, you should go. I, I'm not going. That's weird yeah. though. But I, it's usually always right. Like so you opposite day everywhere, bro. Everywhere. <laughs> what the fuck? Sometimes I say it out loud, like I manifest, oh yeah, this party is going to be ass. And then boom, the that party's is it, amazing. Is it lit? Yeah, that's why. Yo, so you can, hold on. <laughs> Do you predict things with it or is it just like a- No, it's just like a- It's just a feeling. Situational. Like if I have to make a choice. Mm. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. This whole time I was playing like calluses. Look. Oh yeah, I know. I seen you doing that. <laughs> I, know. I, I, hope, I hope nobody's like catching on to that. Like I've been doing this for a minute, bro. I go lie. I noticed. <laughs> and I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> like we're recording. <laughs> no, dog. It's one of those. I don't know if you guys have that feeling when you're when you're like SK or JK, yeah. like kindergarten, mm -hmm. and then you're like playing with like a scab, bro. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> And it's addicting. Yeah. It's dead ass the most addicting thing. Uh -huh. So picking a scab and itching your eyes when it's itchy because mm -hmm. of allergies, the most addicting thing in the world. Fact. Tell me why itching your eyes, like when you when you have allergies, it feels like sex, fam. Huh? <laughs> it feels like, yo, I can't stop. That's like, yeah, low key. An eye itch, what else? So why? Why do you think God made it that the stuff that are very enjoyable is bad for you? It's bad for you? Why yeah. is that? Why is it that like if you keep itching, it, it, it's, it's good, but it's bad, bro? I don't know. Why is that? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not God. So chicken I pox, bro. Oh, chicken pox is crazy. Like you just want to itch that shit, but if you itch it, it's bad for you. Yeah. No. I remember my dad had chicken pox one time mm. and like he had to go, I, I don't know, he had to travel far in the Philippines. Yeah. Like to back to his house. And so he had to ride on a Jeep, but he didn't want anyone to know that he had chicken pox. So he put a cardboard, like, you know those paper paper bags? Mm, what do you mean? Just like a paper bag on his on oh, his head. He put it on his head. Yeah. Like, why? To hide? So, yeah, to hide it. So, so I guess um I don't know if it's contagious or if he just didn't you want, want to get like seen kicked with out. it. Yeah, because he probably oh, would have get kicked out. That's he, true. Like if I seen somebody with monkey. Yeah, exactly. Yo, we were at rec room one time. I thought I saw somebody with monkey pox. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, nah. And I got scared for my life, bro. Ha ha monkey pox hasn't like had its COVID effect. Like I'm thankful. I'm so thankful for that. Because that, that shit was scary. Because once in New York, oh my God, mans were saying monkey pox everywhere. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yo, do you watch SNL? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yo, I have to show you this shit. Okay, let me so see. So this connects to COVID. Mm. Cause fucking uh, Woody Harrelson. Remember him from Hunger Games? Oh yeah. Hey Mitch, he was Hey Mitch in Hunger yeah, Games. Yeah. So Woody Harrelson, he was on SNL, mm. and then he said this shit out loud. Yo, everybody started, everybody started freaking out because he's literally just exposing shit. What do you say? On live television. So the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes. Nah. And people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. <laughs> I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? This is live? That was on live SNL, bro. So pretty much he was saying, he was pitching a movie idea yeah. and saying, what if the cartels mm -hmm. force everybody to do this? But he's really not talking about the cartels. And he was improv that whole thing. Because you know how usually they have scripts and shit before uh -huh. they go in and shoot the show? Yeah. Bro just, just got, the, got the mic and said it. What? Yeah, fam. Did it get deleted? I don't think it got deleted. It's right there, bro. Oh no! Like off, uh, off air. Like, did they like stop it? I don't think it? so. I don't think so. Because I, I noticed. Remember that the the famous Jim Carrey, the one where he did this, and he was talking That's about it. That's still in there, though. Yeah, yo. But what I didn't know is that during the live performance, there was no laughing like in the crowd. They added a laugh track and mm. put it on YouTube. Obviously, <clears throat> obviously, the shit that he was saying like wasn't funny. Yeah, because it's woke. And Jimmy Kimmel was like trying to laugh it, but. 
in real life, when he was, when Jimmy Kimmel was trying to entertain the people, fam, blank stares. Yeah, and then after the in the edit, they yeah, add that shit. They add that. Oh my gosh, bro. we don't know what's fucking real, bro. Because honestly, yeah. I can pretend I had a podcast with anybody, any celeb. I can pretend I had a podcast with Drake, bro. Oh yeah, the AI voices. Yeah, yo, I've seen too many where Minecraft. They're playing Minecraft. Joe Joe Rogan, Joe Biden, <laughs> Joe Biden, <laughs> Ice Spice, and Elon Musk. <laughs> Bro, you know how dangerous that is, though? Because man's like, like since especially podcasters, yeah. bro, imagine what they can make Joe theory, Rogan say. Theory right now. Yeah. Ready? Mm. Just like what happened with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. They're going to use AI to plant a fake allegation on somebody, bro. Yeah. What's going to happen is going to be like that phone call type of thing mm. or like somebody yelling, but it's not actually them. It's the AI, bro. Yeah. And then they're going to use that as proof and just bury somebody. See? See, that's scary. It's like an easier way to to get someone evicted. Mm. Like, that's or not canceled or like deleted off the... Bro, they're probably planning... Theory right now, yo! <laughs> yo, theory right now. Kevin, uh, the reason they have Andrew Tate in jail still and holding him for longer and longer, they're, they're waiting for they're waiting for the AI to get better so that they can use the fake oh, allegation no. AI voice, bro, oh, and have him locked no. up. They're trying to wait till the AI is good enough. Oh no. Yo, cause it's headed there, bro. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, you if they want really want to get him out. It's already the headed there. That's the way. It's getting worse and worse. See, but all we can use it as a as good shit and be like, uh, you know how Tay K still in jail? <laughs> Biggest what if in rap? <laughs> if someone just makes a Tay K song off his voice, oh, <laughs> release yo. that to the public, make music. Imagine how much lawsuits they're gonna be for music now. Imagine yeah, that's how, so true. Like, bro, I I've, I'm really curious. So, like, if let's say let's say I'm a rapper, yeah, and I use the AI generated voice mm -hmm. to use as a Drake feature. Yeah. Drake didn't write the song. It's not actually Drake and it's computerized. So it's not necessarily him. It just sounds like him. Is he going to lawsuit? Is he going to sue you? Am I not allowed to do that? But isn't it just computerized? Isn't it not even his voice? Isn't it not, you know what I mean? Like if I have somebody that sounds like Drake and it goes on, maybe if you title it as Drake feature, yeah. but if it just sounds like him, does it matter? Fuck, bro. Like if someone can literally, I didn't know podcasting was like such a, you know how like, Jobs are getting so old that AI is gonna take over. Mm. Fam, AI could take our jobs right now. Some guy could type a text, Carlos voice. Oh yeah, blah blah blah. Gavin that's voice. Fuck. Fam, we can get our jobs taken fuck, right fuck, now, fuck. bro. Nah, I don't think that will happen just because I think there's an energy to it. Oh, I guess. Because a lot of the time when you're having a conversation with somebody, it can go like, because this this is the way my my mind, mind works. Okay. Like even though we're talking about one thing. Mm -hmm. There's so many different alleyways and ways yeah. like the conversation can go. Uh -huh. And I don't think AI can do that. Just yeah. because there's no soul. Not yet. How do you know that? Maybe AI is so deeply rooted into Carlos that he knows exactly what you're thinking. That's when it gets scary still. You know what's kind of scary to me? Yeah. The voice in your head, right? Yeah. You know how it's automatic? Mm -hmm. Would you say your voice is alive? My voice is alive. This is just like a high thought, but... If yeah. you bag it, your voice is alive <laughs> and, and it's is, almost separate from yeah, you, from bro. Your body, from your body. And this is just like, uh, we could be built into anyone, but at the end of the day, this, this is us. Yo, <laughs> think about that. Yeah, low key. Fam, because as I'm speaking right now, it's almost like automatic. I'm not really thinking hard to speak right now. Yeah. But the fact of, it's literally just this. It's not even anything else attached to it. Mm -hmm. It's just the voice box. So imagine you can... I'm not saying this is real, but imagine you can take on get out type shit, mm. put somebody else's brain with the same voice box with the same body. Yeah. Dog, that's scary. Take someone's voice. That's damn near a skinwalker, bro. You're just a skinwalker that's at that fucked. point. Yeah. You want to talk about skinwalkers? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I thought you wanted to talk about it. But nah, a crazy thing. Oh, wait, actually, I just seen a video. Uh, Hold what? on. That's, that's just like. That is like skinwalkers. Yeah, still. no, that's why. That's why I was like, I'm transitioning. You oh, man. shit. No, look, look, look. Let so see. I seen this video. Uh, that's kind of fucked. What? I just bagged that. Look, so there's this video. Uh -huh. This this person, he was hearing screaming coming from this public washroom outside. Oh, well, I public see. restroom, sorry. Yeah. Public restroom outside. And just screaming of a lady. Mm. So they went to go check it out. I'm convinced that this guy encountered a skinwalker. Take a listen. <laughs> Yo, 
you can hear the? straight screaming. Somebody help me! Screaming loud, and you can you can tell it's real because the echo, the echo moves. Wait, is there no one? So in he there? walks into the washroom and look. He goes and checks every single stall. What the? Nobody's there, bro. Nah, nah, that's gotta be fake, bro. Bro. And then it stops, but it only stops when he's there. What the fuck? There's nah, nobody nah. in here. Unless that's like a like a milk prank or some yeah, shit, bro. That's gotta be fake, cause there was a dip in the camera. <laughs> he probably jumped over. Yo, W video idea instead of a skinwalker, uh, it's just Jiddy on in the. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, we had no video idea, bro. No, but so, yo, imagine like a girl's voice and then it's just me sitting in the washroom like that. No, no, no. <laughs> like nobody else, it's just me. No, that's fine. I just posted up like this. Cause, cause <laughs> yo, I, I feel like that video is fake just cause if you heard screaming like that, you're not going in the washroom, fam. Well, mm. How are you so like, that's your first instinct. That's not my first instinct, fam. Oh, to like record? Yeah. Uh, depends. I don't know. Well, it depends how long he was hearing it for. Yeah. I don't know. There was another uh, crazy... Because we talked about Elisa Lam, right? And yeah. the elevator. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I guess this elevator game is super popular. Because mm -hmm. there's another case in Taiwan <clears throat> where um it was a mother and a daughter now. Mm. So they went into a building. Uh, building manager was closing everything up. End of the shift. You feel me? Yeah. Walks past the building manager. Goes into the elevator. Building manager like... Yo, yo, we're, we're closing. Like, yo, you got to go. It's like, no, I'm just going to see a friend, right? Yeah. She goes up and then the building manager goes back and sees the footage because he wants to see what they're doing. The mother and daughter. This is what he sees. This is so weird. I look. So this is the mother daughter. This is the footage. Actual this footage. This is the elevator footage. Elevator footage. Look, she takes her, her clothes off, her sandals off, yeah. and the clothes off of her children, of her child too, right? Yeah. And the, at the end of the night, the woman didn't come down. You Wait, know? what? She went to the 11th floor what, that led her to a scared staircase that would either lead her to the roof or to the bottom. And they still haven't found them? They still haven't found them. Yo. You know what's crazy? The The next day, building manager says, oh, yo, uh, they probably jumped off the building. That's what happened. What the fuck? Right? So she called, they called the police. The police was expecting to clean up, like, you feel me, a suicide attempt. Yeah. They looked everywhere. Every crevice, water tanks, everywhere. They weren't there. So it's completely, this is not even like Elisa Lam. Elisa Lam, at least they found the at body. At least they found the body, but this one, they played the, I'm pretty sure they played the elevator game and ended up somewhere totally different. What the fuck? Yeah. That's oh, fucked. That's fucked. Mm. If, if somebody goes missing just like that and there's cameras around, that's crazy yeah. to me. See, and there's actual footage. That's what that's what scared me. Mm. Uh, and there's like, there's other ones in Taiwan too where um, uh, some old guy. Yeah was also at a building with an elevator, pressed floor number six by accident. He was supposed to go to floor number seven. Woman body drops. Whoa, what the fuck? Woman body drops like on his face. And he's like, wait, how? And listen, listen, this is so crazy. He tries to process like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. And, so, and the sixth floor that he pressed on was supposedly privately owned. The guy over there blocked all the windows so they couldn't see what he's doing. So the sixth floor, once you go up, you leave the elevator, right? Yeah. He built a wall between so and the gate. So you would be stuck in this crevice if you left it. So mm -hmm. say you stepped out of the elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There would be a wall there. The elevator would close on you. And you would. Ooh. And this woman was stranded for a week. No water, no food. Yo, so she was just stuck she like was, this? She was stuck like this. And until somebody presses sixth floor and opens the elevator for her, then she drops down. Wait, 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 wait. So did she survive or is she dead? She's dead. So she... Yeah. Yo, this guy's fucked. This guy's literally set up a trap. What the fuck? Yeah. So he bought out the whole floor just to the do that. The whole floor. If you step out, you're fucked. You're trapped. The emergency exit button is on the other side of the yeah, wall. Yeah, so you he can't built. even press it. You can't even build it. That's, that's some Minecraft shit, bro. That's some Fortnite. <laughs> Yo. That's Not some real Minecraft shit. lava trap. No, real shit. Real shit though. The shit you know you know when you play Minecraft PvP yeah. and then and then the, the spider web? You hit the red Oh my god. You hit God, the redstone bro. and then it traps you in. It's fucked. There's few things in life that are just as devastating as that. Fam. Well, what are you looking at? No, no, I thought it shut up. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I thought you saw like a ghost or something. No, no, bro. no, no. No, I didn't. Why do you we're look good. why do you look scared? No, no, because I thought it shut up. I thought I heard it shut up. You pulled up. 
<laughs> did I look scared? <laughs> you look scared. My fault. Don't worry. You pulled at me when I did that to you. Oh yeah. No, when you look scared, you look like terrified. Do I? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but you just look so terrified. Do you think it's because I've, I always try to look brave? Not that I try to look brave, but I always look like I'm not scared. Because Loki, sometimes I'm yeah. scared, bro. No, no. I think the first time uh, that, uh, what do you call this? Yeah, no, Loki, you do. Mm. Because uh, whenever you're telling me like, yeah, it's like you just always ask like, you're not you're not phased by anything. So when I see that weakness, it's kind of like, oh, I got to be scared now because it's something crazy. Word. It's got to mm. be something crazy. So you think, you think it's that dad effect then? Because my dad's like that too. Like, okay, your father figure, right? Yeah. Let's say your dad has trouble doing something. Everything else is shambles because that's your hero. That's yeah, your dad. Like, yeah. <laughs> Facts. Though. Think about it. Facts. Like he can't like replace a light bulb or something. I would get hurt, bro. Yo, imagine. Ev- oh, yo. Imagine you're like in, the, in, a, in, a, in a war and then your battalion leader. He's like, oh, fuck. I'm scared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yo, everybody else is in shambles, bro, we're dog. Dying, we're dying. Wrap it up. <laughs> Pack. Yo, if we're all in like a squad, right? And then bro is the leader. If bro is the leader and he's scared to go outside. Yeah. It's rad. I know. That, <laughs> yo, at that point, somebody else has to step up, no? Yeah, for sure. Do you think there's every man in, like, the military who, like, front line, right? And, like, the sh- first shots go off. Mm. And they, like, They oh, turn around? F- no, no, like, they go to the back, like, oh, fuck. Like, I'm not supposed to be here, like. <laughs> Probably. Because like, I know I know in World War II is like that. Yeah. Like, nobody, nobody really. Yo, in World War II, nobody knew what they're really signing up for. Yeah. Because be they didn't know what war was like <laughs> that type of war before, because they didn't even have bombs at that time. I don't think. Yeah. Because World War One, I, I believe, it was like, it was very just, mm. like civil war. Yeah. Load up the yeah. powder. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do. Yo, we're standing fucking six feet away, and we're <laughs> just lined up like this, bro. Might as well run up there. You know I me? Mean? Yo, hot take. Civil war would have not fucking happened if they had samurai swords, bro. If oh, they yeah. put the samurai in that shit, civil war. You know what I mean? No, that's crazy. That's a, that yo, they had the refresh rate of fucking five minutes. Alive? Insane. <laughs> I bet the first guy who like rushed first, like got hella like girls. But what? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> you guys worried about girls, bro? They're in war, bro. Nobody cares about no, no, girls in no, war. No, no. Yo, are you shorty watching? No, no. This guy's saying it's like an NBA game. Like, yo, I'm gonna play sick tonight. <laughs> bro's running nah, nah. bro's running with this i'm gonna I'm run nah, sick tonight fam that definitely was a thing because in all the war movies that i've seen like after the battle or like the plane fights they would always go to a bar and then if they have like the most badges they would like oh all the girls on me like all the beer and shit get i get free they could have got just some fake badges bro <laughs> see imagine the guy who first rushed like invented rushing <laughs> invented rushing like, just like this <laughs> <laughs> the rusher class bro <laughs> Somebody invented the Russia class right away. Yo, you know what's crazy? Uh, I'm pretty sure Canadians actually invented that. I think they what, called Russia? it. They called, you know, yo, mm. did you know the name Stormtroopers in Star Wars? You know where that came from? No. Came from Canadians, bro. Oh, I didn't know so that. So I think World War II, they called the Canadians Stormtroopers because they would do what? They would rush. They storm. would rush. And it was only it was only the Canadians that did it. Oh, we're brave. They had like a, a, a battalion, like a, a squadron yeah. of Canadians that, that did that rushing shit. Oh, word? Yeah, in World War II, fam. And they called them the, the Stormtroopers. So no one else was rushing out like that Nobody except was, for Yeah, except for the Canadians, right? Damn, nah, that's, that's And then that's, that's how we got the name. That's fire still. But now it's just Star Wars. Like, no one gives a shit. <laughs> Star Wars? <laughs> For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. In Canada, we actually had mandatory French classes, but I never really got to learn it so well. I probably took nine years of French classes and I still can't even speak fluent French. Now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Honestly, living in Canada, learning French would be so useful because French is our second language. So thanks to Babbel, my goal this year, I'm going to be able to speak fluent French. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel's lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven 
proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including French, Spanish, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. So there's so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to the lessons, you can access podcasts, games, video, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, you can get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash jumpers. That's babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P. ERS for up to 55% off your subscription. Babble, language for life. Would you rather live in Star Wars or uh, Lord of the Rings? I don't really know that much about Lord of the Rings, though. Like, what is, like, okay. the powers of Lord of the Rings? Because, you know, it's I pretty much like Shrek. So, nothing? <laughs> what do you mean, nothing? Shrek is, is eventful. No, but Shrek, like, I'm talking power wise. Like, you know, Harry Potter has the wand. Like, they have. Oh, okay. Lord of the Rings is kind of like, yeah, there's magic and shit. There's magic in Shrek, too. What are you talking about? There is? In yeah. Shrek. In Shrek, where you talk, there's no magic. They literally turn to humans. Oh, okay. you don't remember that, Handsome that Shrek? Part. But I'm talking like ability wise. Like, could I die? Like, how could I die in Shrek? Oh, no, how could you I could die, die in Shrek? You're no, no, no. telling me in Shrek Universe you can't die? Insane. No, I wouldn't, fam. Well, who am I, who's going to kill me? Oh no, put Shrek, fam! Yo, the, the only Shrek does the body slam? We played Shrek 2 and you're telling me you would survive that? I think that's only in video games that they gave him that ability. Because I don't think he did that in the movie. No, or he's is done that a Mandela effect? He's done that. Okay. Mandela effect! Yo! He doesn't do that in the movie, fam. I swear he doesn't. Like, there's no. I think he's just. No, 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 no. Away. He did. He did that body slam. But it was in, it was in Shrek 1. That's not a Mandela effect. I know. because you, you don't remember the fight scene? You know what I'm talking you only about? only do it like one time? Is that like... You don't remember that song and then he's fighting? Yeah, yeah. I don't remember who do him doing it. I only remember him running away from fights or like trying to get no, away. This guy, this guy, yo, Word. this guy's a fighter, bro. Word. You don't remember Shrek fighting? No, Shrek had know. the craziest fight scene. I used to replay Shrek 1 <laughs> just to watch the fight scene. Okay, I got, a, I got a crazy Mandela effect. I don't know if you know this. What? Does Bob the Builder have an English accent? Or like a, a like a American accent, like uh, like our accent. Yo, he had English, right? Yeah, he had, he had <laughs> okay. English. You knew. I didn't know that because I, I thought I was like, why is he speaking like this? <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? Oh, let's get into it, yeah, fam. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. I swear to God, I don't know why, I think I know but kids that grew up watching like Treehouse and like all of these different like kids shows, uh -huh. they all end up having like a little bit of a British accent, even though they grow up here, fam. My little cousin ended up with a British accent because they're watching all these kids shows. What? Yeah, like into the night garden. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, like okay, that type okay. of shit. They end up with a little bit of the accent because all of the shows, all the shows have British accents, bro. Oh, I didn't know that. Remember like grandpa in my pocket. Yeah, no, the, like that why stuff. Was it all, I swear George Shrinks had an English accent. No, that's, you're tripping. Am I tripping? Shrinks? It might be, because they all had some type of accent. George Shrinks did not. No, nah, there is some crazy shows back, because look at um Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew is still the craziest one to this date. Oh, yeah. If you think about it, at the time, it's still funny. Mm. I'm not saying it's good, but like, it as was kids, still we, entertaining. Like, as kids, we don't even understand these things, right? But that's that's what they want. I know. So what if it's all just like a... It's malicious intent because mm. we don't understand it but it triggers us to move in that direction think about it so mm. what does that mean pretty much leaving hints of things mm. to kind of lead us into that way of like yo you know this is all right this is all right little bits little bits little bits yeah. and eventually it solves its puzzle piece as we mature mm. i don't know i think that's all just like do you think if we didn't have those shows we wouldn't be like there wouldn't be any sexual uh assaults in the world no predators in the world i feel i don't know bro. like what would trigger that if it wasn't for mainstream media like mm. what else you don't become i don't i don't believe you really just come out the womb and you're fucked in the head like just automatically you want to do some malicious stuff i don't know it's maybe some people are really maybe some without guidance maybe without guidance wow because look if, if you take a like a wolf in the wild mm. and you bring him into the crib he's probably gonna eat your dog yeah <laughs> That's true. Right? If you put a wolf beside your dog, your dog is dead. Mm. But like surrounded by good shit though. Yeah, see, it's environment. I think it's all environment. Yeah. And that's the that's the thing. Like we should never judge somebody by who they are presently. Cause you don't know their environment, bro. Facts. Like you can sure somebody's a dickhead, they're a dickhead, sure. Mm. But 
never really think in your head like hate that person because you don't know what the fuck they've been through. Yeah. There's reasons they turned out that way, bro. Mm. And usually their backstories go long. Yeah. They probably go so long that you couldn't even fathom how fucking terrible that shit was, bro. I know. Everyone has a story. Maybe it's like we we're quick to judge based on uh what do you call this? Maybe that person did that or acts like that. Oh, we don't know the trauma before. Yeah. You know yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes Yo, the sad thing is too, I forgot what movie it was, but there was this kid that grew up and because his dad was really evil, mm. he became evil just because that's what he, he's taught. Just like, um, you know, Adam's family. Yeah. So Adam's family, they're all kind of like, I mean, emo. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> is that the right term for Adam's family? They're, they're looking emo, that's, right? Yeah, that's true. So is the intention wrong if, fuck, I got nah, because intention will still be wrong. No, nah, I think if your action is wrong, period. Like if you do something period, terrible, yeah. it's I'm just unethical. saying it's like, yeah, they they have that action. But if we're saying, oh, let's take this whole per person's story, yeah. is it really wrong? Mm. What he did? See, that's where it comes tricky because obviously there's some stuff that we can't, you know, that's uh, unap un unapologetic, unapologetic or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 See, see, we have problems, right? Mm. It's like. If there's somebody terrible in the world, yeah, should there be someone to sympathize? Should be, yeah. But what if he's like the most evil person in the world? Should you still sympathize? There, there was, yeah. I swear, in like the Jeffrey Dahmer documentary, there was one. There was like one person who synth sympathized. Because there has to be somebody that's like, yo, he's troubled. Like that's why he was like yeah. that. Like sure, he's done evil, but he's troubled. And those are the real angels of the world. Like that's very hard to do. Now, why is it the entire world will hate on somebody that thinks di differently? Mm. Majority. Some, I think it's just majority. No, but that's some, like, think about it, bro. Yeah. Because there's a specific person I'm talking about right now. Say it again. So that one person that, that sympathizes, mm. the entire world bashes on him, though, because he's the only one that thinks it's different. Mm. I have no I'm, not saying, I'm not saying whether this is right or wrong. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's just interesting. Mm. It is very interesting still. Because it is good that somebody sympathizes, but is the act of sympathizing with really, really evil things mm -hmm. and seeing that, oh, maybe they were troubled, maybe th that's why they were who they were. Yeah. Should you hate that person that sympathizes now? Interesting, right? Yeah. It's kind of weird. Should too. you? Because uh, it's like you chose the wrong team. Or it's not even choosing a team, but like you shouldn't even think good about a person at all. That's kind of... I don't know. I don't. F I feel like there's... <clears throat> Ah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, fam. Because it's like, I'm thinking of like, <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly, murderers. You know what exactly what I'm talking about? Like, I don't. <laughs> no? I don't. I, there's not one person that came to mind, though. I'm just thinking like, like, the comments know what I'm talking about. I'm, That's I'm all thinking I'm like, say. murderers. Like, I don't know if like, uh, I don't know. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying like, mm -hmm. is it wrong to, to bash on the person that did sympathize. I'm not saying if it's right to sympathize or not. I'm just wondering if it's bad to bash on that person that did. That's very hard. It's very hard, right? Super it's hard. fucking I can't even, hard, I can't even bro. give you an answer to that, bro. Because if I give you an answer and... Because then I don't know. It's just both. There's just two... There's two ways, yeah. Like, you can be right, but you can also be horribly wrong. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I know, um, bro. But one thing that pisses me off, too, is like a lot of celebrities just because... um. They're getting in trouble for shit that a lot of pe regular people don't get in trouble for. It's just like they have the cameras and lights on. Yeah, them. they just have the lights on you them. Exactly. So it's, it's so weird. It's like it's pick and choose. I know it it's really is, bro. What do you, what do you think would um, what do you think's one life hack mm. to make you uncancelable? Uncancelable. What do you think? I, I have no idea. <laughs> I think be real from the jump. Like, if, <laughs> no, that ass. Like, if you, this is this is kind of like a crazy take, but uh, if straight up bro comes out as like unethical, <laughs> I'll just say unethical, right? And he's like that his whole time, but he makes entertaining content, and it's straight unethical. Sure, it's entertaining. Like, we're still gonna watch, but yeah. you can't really cancel him no more because that that's what you signed up to watch. Feel me? Mm. I don't know because if you take it like a. A man like Speed. Yeah. He he got canceled, but I don't think anyone cared. He did be real from the jump, kind of. Exactly. He's real from the... That, that's an example. But I feel like his age and maturity, there's there's like a point, like an age limit where you can't get canceled just because 
you haven't experienced life yet. Mm. You're, you're, you're making mistakes that you didn't really know. Mm. So right now, since we've, we're still like 23, I think this is still a good time where we can say what's on our mind. Oh shit. We didn't know because we're, we're still going through life. Mm. You feel me? That's a good point, bro. But a lot of people would say that's wrong because, oh, oh, you're 23. You should know the consequences of your actions. Bro, what? We don't know. Like, sometimes we're just speaking, you feel me? Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> let's say a newborn baby. Yeah. Straight out the womb. You can't cancel a newborn baby. <laughs> Impossible, bro. fam. But the, the internet will find a way. <laughs> internet will find a way, bro. Like it, like it cried the wrong Yo, way. <laughs> give, a, give a newborn baby a, a Blue Lives Matter shirt, oh, bro. Oh, my <laughs> God. That shit will get canceled the, the minute it comes out, fam. Yo. Real would the baby though. get canceled? Nah, the parents would get canceled. <laughs> yeah, the parents. But somebody would get canceled. <laughs> no, no, no. Let, let's leave it up to the internet. Ready? Yeah. So, you leave two shirts. Okay. And then let the baby crawl to one. <laughs> 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 Whichever the one the baby crossed through, do you have to cancel the baby because no. of the baby's choice? That's crazy. That's a great. That's crazy. The internet will find a way, bro. Oh, for sure. The internet will find. It'll a be way. like, yeah, and this baby will grow up and be like, why is everyone hating on me? Dead ass. The internet's already clowning on Lana Rhodes' baby, which is kind of fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, you can't really avoid it, but it's still kind of <laughs> fucked. I'm glad. Like- the Land of Rhodes baby is kind of funny though. It's it's funny. It's it's funny still. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. What, what is it? It's like, uh what do you call this? <laughs> What's one thing? It's all it's so prominent in every comment. It's like Oh, the the, the water slide? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, relax, relax, relax. Oh my god. No, but do you think Oh, this this is a crazy take, ready? Yeah. Do you think all of our joy and happiness is falling onto somebody to suffer? <laughs> Think about it, ready? When, when we're laughing at somebody mm-hmm. and it gives us a good laugh and we're enjoying shit, right? Yeah. Technically, it's kind of bullying if we if we clown on someone. Mm. Sure, they're feeding into it. Maybe the comedian is like allowing it. But that's kind of his suffering still. Mm. Yeah, you're like, you're targeting a person? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think it's wrong. Like, who cares? Like, shit, it yeah. is what it is. But do you think it's true? Like, all of our happiness comes from like someone else's suffering? Oh, low key. Real talks. That's a real theory. Mm. All of our happiness, at some point, someone suffered. Yeah. Whoa. You're just trading off. Yeah, you are just trading off still. Because have you ever, la- like, when you're getting made fun of, have you actually, like, haha, without getting, like, an inch of hurt? Like, you probably got. It depends. It depends, honestly. Yeah. It depends, honestly. Because. Because we could be laughing personally, but our subconscious might not be. And a lot of people say that. That's why uh, affirmations are so important. Because mm-hmm. you say negative shit to yourself, you're going to be negative. Yeah. So you want to avoid that. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. So we could pretend and like put on this act and actually show that we're not. Yeah. But maybe our subconscious is different. I know. Yeah. Right? Like, what if, fam? That's a pretty good theory, though. Because every single thing, like you, you have food, right? Uh-huh. You have clothes. You have a designer shirt right right now, uh, right? Somebody suffered to make that designer shirt, but you're happy because you bought it. A lie. Sure, sure, you're happy, and there's nothing wrong with being happy. But is it wrong because someone suffered for your happiness? Now, point at anything in the room, someone probably suffered it first. Phone. You know, you know the Apple freaking manufacturing in in china is crazy yeah. have you seen what they do so they have freaking they have like almost hotels full of workers mm-hmm. and all they do is make parts for phones and a lot of people yo i'm pretty sure the rooms themselves have a net so that they can't jump out and commit suicide oh for real yes oh i didn't know that. that's real i'm pretty sure they have one for apple and one for samsung okay but where where do those people get their happiness from Let's just keep going down the ladder. So say, oh, we we get our happiness from that uh, the Apple manufacturer. They get yeah. happiness. They get happiness from who they're taking care of, whether that be themselves or some uh-huh. other family member, because they have to do what they have to do to survive, mm-hmm. and that makes them happy that to keep their kid alive. Of course. Mm, damn, I never really like thought deep. Like Every that, like everybody that's listening right now, yeah. point to anything in your room. Somebody probably suffered for it first. Real talks, bro. So we're we're just all unethical by buying it. Capitalism, unethical. No, but the thing is, the, that's that's what it already is, mm. which sucks. Yeah. But it is what it is, right? Mm. And I hate to say that because if I want to make a difference, what am I going to do? 
the world's gonna keep buying shit. Amazon's gonna keep becoming like a trillion dollar company eventually mm. if we just keep consuming. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Come on, bro. Like, um, there's nothing we can do. Fam. And like, nothing is gonna stop me from buying another Amazon thing, bro. It's like exactly because on, on a, we're so desensitized from that. It's like, oh, we don't even. We're not even thinking like that, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, and if you bag it, like, if you want to even get, like, more woke, mm. you know, quote-unquote woke, okay. like, you know how the people, you know the PETA people, like, yo, you're hurting the animals and shit? What PETA people? Oh, PETA. Yeah, like, you're hurting the animals, like, yo, so, sometimes I think about it, when I'm eating eggs, bro, I eat bare eggs, yeah. fam. I probably eat, like, five eggs, you know this. Crazy, yeah. Eat, like, five eggs a day. Dog, that shit could have been a chicken. That could have been a chicken, bro. I don't know how you do it. You consume a lot of eggs, bro. Like, one is good enough to fill me up. That's insane. I don't know how you can only <laughs> eat one egg, bro. Like, I'd be, I'd be, like, opening the carton, right? Full. You know why? Because I was a swimmer back in the... Because Michael Phelps used to eat, like, I think 12 eggs. Hella? Yeah, he used to like, consume yeah. so much food. Oh, speaking of sports people, you know how you predicted uh, Tommy Fury? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, there's another numerology... So there's a crazy LeBron James numerology theory. Oh, shit. Yeah. So LeBron James, everyone knows he just broke Kareem's uh, scoring record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kareem held that record for 38 years. Mm. How old is LeBron? 30 oh, 38. How many points did LeBron score on the game that he broke no the record? No way. 38. 38? The day that he broke the record. I'm going to read it out. 38. There's no 38 date. No, listen. February 7, 2023. This is the 38th day of the year. Yo, what the fuck? It, it doesn't stop there, man. Listen. So, uh, what do you call this? So, it brought his scoring record, his total points right now, 38,388. No, let me see that. Wait, what? 38,300. So, 38, 38. What the fuck? And now this, now this is the crazy, this is the topper. Kareem set the record. April 5th, 1984. Yeah. 38 weeks later, LeBron James was born. Hella 38. What the fuck? Hella 38. What does 38 mean though? Because I, I know, know three is communication, eight is money. Uh, I think eight is a, a lot of athletes. Eight, everyone, whoever is an eight is an athlete. Interesting. I read that. But no, just the, just the numerology in that whole sequence, the 38s, 38s. Yeah, yeah, that's someone weird, searched that up for bro. us. Maybe, maybe it might be a, a bigger meaning. That's weird, bro. Yeah. Yo, is there thirty eight on like a on like a roulette board? Thirty eight on a roulette. What does roulette go up to? Do you remember? I don't know. I haven't been there, so I haven't. Yeah, I haven't been there so. in a minute. But I think it goes up to like four forty. I think it does. Mm. There should be some thirties in there. Crazy take, right? Yeah. So I noticed. Every single time, whoever's birthday it is, yeah. and we go to the casino, they win. <laughs> yeah, now, check me out. Ready? Okay. Check me out. Uh. If you go on somebody else's birthday mm. with the mindset of like putting the, their favorite numbers on their birthday. So, pretend your birthday was on the 12th. Just put 12. Put on the 12th because that's the birthday. Mm. Do you think it would help you win? Do you think it would help me win? Because I remember when it was my birthday, I was using 8 hella because I'm 8 February 8th. Oh, it might just work for you though, because eight is the number of money. So that's True. why it's working. I don't know. I feel like you just come in with a different energy. Did you did you tell that theory where it's like um uh when you're looking at the board and like you're trying to manifest something when it does the bit uh jackpot or the Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think theory. I told I think oh, I told did? that before, no? Oh, okay. So every single time we go play roulette at the casino, yeah. Dead ass, I win because of what? Because of manifesting and visualizing this shit. So I literally visualized the ball going onto red yeah. and I put it at red. I was on a streak for like 15. <laughs> we was going. A 15 streak of guessing red or black. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this one's red, this one's red, this one's black, right? Mm. The first day I won 16, you know, boom, lovely. Made so much money. I come back two weeks later. Yeah. What happens? They added fucking animations Bear. animations to the screen so that you can't even look at when it's rolling anymore bro, bro it's hella. like stars and shit like i don't want to see stars on the board bro like show me the numbers because i know there wasn't a lot of people winning that day so why are they showing all this yeah there's no way it was back to back to back you feel me they get you like that yeah. bro they realize fam yeah, I don't know, bro. No cap, if I was a casino owner too, and I realized like <laughs> people are using spiritual shit to to win, fam, yeah. dude, I'm gonna look into the spiritual shit too. Facts. I wouldn't be surprised. Yo, what? 
There's like a instead of the uh, what do you call this head boss? There's like just some witch up there. Nah, I had a crazy like view in my head. What? Yo, imagine like you're going through the casino. This would be a crazy movie. Mm. Imagine you're going through the casino, right? Yeah. And you're wondering like, damn, I wonder how the casino uses like that spiritual energy to make everybody lose. Mm. And all of a sudden, you went through the wrong door, and then you open it, and you're not supposed mm -hmm. to be there. And you take a left turn, mm -hmm. and you just see like an altar for Satan. Oh no! Nah. <laughs> Yo, or like some crazy altars and shit, and just like demonic like yeah. star. You heard that too, a lie. You heard that too, a lie. Yo, nah, it's okay. We're team God, Team God, Team God. Imagine, fam. Nah, that would be no, but that. <laughs> oh my God! Imagine you want to manifest evil. That's where you do it. Yeah, imagine like. I know Las what Vegas. What places of evil are like that? Like Las Vegas. Stuff Las like Vegas that. has to be the most evil place because that it takes all your money. Las Vegas is literally a money central. It's like if you don't come there with money or or riches, yeah. oh yeah, you you have nothing to enjoy. Come on, that's that's true. Damn, you know what they call Las Vegas? What? Sin City. Exactly, bro. They call that shit Sin City. Fam. You know, you know the first thing when you get into a hotel or like a, a casino, there's like people. Well, that will try to sell you like uh they'll they'll fake work there. There's not even supposed to be workers there, but they'll dress up and like they'll try to s tell you, oh, come, we can show you this room, we can show you this room, but mm. they're actually not workers. They're just trying to get all the money out from you. Mm. Like fam, you know how like evil you have to sign up for that job, or like what goes through a scammer's head every day? Like you know, like the um, oh, like the people that steal, steal. Yeah. You know what it is, bro? Is it? It's an act of desperation too. Mm. Because they have nothing else to do, bro. Yeah. How else are they gonna make their bread, fam? Yeah. And at some point, you know that that thieves, um, it's like honor for thieves, yeah. honor amongst thieves. Mm. That happens because they understand the circumstances they're in. Yeah. Like you know those movies, the heist movies. Mm. I always wonder, like, damn, there must be a lot of people. Like this has to be real too. Like there has to be thieves out there that work together. Yeah. And is the commonality of, yo, I'm in a terrible position. This is all I can do. Yeah. That's all you can do. Let's work together and steal some shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that though, because the intention is not wrong because of the situation you're in. Mm. And there's a, there's a crazy case where a guy literally robbed the bank, but literally not for the reason everyone's thinking. You feel me? So one guy, he had like a lump on his chest that needed surgery. Oh shit. So, so he d he got fired from his job, didn't have no money. Yeah. Right? So he's like, my plan is to rob a bank and get the surgery I need from the medical ward. Mm. So he's like, I right. he goes into the bank, gives the teller a slip, a note yeah. that says, I need one dollar. I'm armed. Mm. So the teller's like, it's one dollar. Yeah, she's one dollar because he's trying to rob a bank. Mm. So the teller gets scared because of the I'm armed. Calls the police, boom, he gets sent to jail, gets relieved. Because that's the only thing he could do. Wait, 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 wait. So he went to jail on purpose? He went to jail on purpose because he needed that surgery. He didn't have enough money, so he he got free surgery at the medical ward in jail. What the that's fuck? That's like, that's like, that's a, he did it for the right intention. That's 3D, 3D chest, chest fam. Yo. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. I now, I've seen this meme too. It's yeah. like, if I beat up this homeless man right now, he gets sent to the hospital so he doesn't have to be cold outside. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, that's, not, that's a meme. That's not me saying that. That's not me saying that. No, but that's like, it makes sense. <laughs> like it, there's a homeless guy freezing outside, but you beat him up. Yeah. Then he's going to get sent to the he hospital to and now he's warm. Yeah. Oh, bro. Another one? It's terrible. You know another one that makes sense? If there was a tsunami. Yeah. Can't we just go into a pool? Are you fucking Listen, listen, listen. So if there's the what do you call it? If there's a tsunami, there's already water, right? We go down. Like you know how if you're above ground, you're dead. If you go under a pool, you're chilling, no? Uh, does that not make that's one thing that oh like, doesn't gosh, make any sense yeah. to me? Or another one. Yeah, no, 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 we're not going no, to no. another one. No, <laughs> another one. No, another one. Listen, the waves of the tsunami, bro, is going to push the undertow <laughs> and pull you out, fam. Nah. The water is going to be moved. Water will move. <laughs> no, nah, it's, a, it's a meme going around on TikTok. So there's another one. Uh, if you're getting choked out by a guy, yeah. can't you just pretend to be, to think so he'll let go? You could, actually. See? But why, why is that, like, so wrong to do? Like, why can't you just... 
Like, yeah, no, well, it. you don't know. Like, <laughs> if you're in MMA, maybe. Yeah. But even MMA, they're just going to, like, tap you out or they're going to stop the fight, right? Yeah, yeah. But in a street fight, uh, maybe in the street fight, somebody would stop. Yeah. Maybe. I'm trying to think of the, another one. Like, can you pull one of these? Yeah. Some, somebody will just, like, go, fam. And you saw it. And then yeah, you start fighting. Exactly. That's kind of crazy. That not make oh, you know who did that, actually? Who? I, I think... I think it's Rampage Jackson. Uh, I could be wrong. It's either Rampage Jackson. Fuck, it might have been him. But he got kicked. No, 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 no. Oh, it's Derek Lewis. It's no, Derek Lewis. I don't Lewis think it was Derek Lewis. It was another he, black guy. He got kicked in the stomach and he went like this. Oh, yeah. And he waited for the other guy to come up and then hit him with a haymaker, bro. See, why is that so, like, unusual to do? Like, I feel like if everyone did that, like, come on, bro. Everyone would be, like, That's out actually of a smart. Fight. Yes, bro. This is smart to show weakness and pretend and then just like hurt him. Exactly. And the pool thing's smart too, bro. Just get it under a pool. Yo. Yo. <laughs> oh, no. I said it wrong. I said it wrong. If there's a tsunami, why can't we just go into a helicopter and, and go up? That makes sense. Where the fuck are you getting a helicopter from? I don't know, but like that would make sense to escape a tsunami. That would save you, no? Well, yeah, obviously, if you exactly, have a helicopter. Exactly. Who the fuck has a helicopter? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the frick? Where's this guy getting a helicopter? All of a sudden, you have one? <laughs> nah, the hardest flex in the world, Yeah, at least the hardest flex I heard of, my cousin. Yeah. My dad told me this story. He went to prom in a helicopter. Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. Because I think his dad is the politician. Yeah. Shout, out, shout out my cousin. But he's a, he's a politician in the Philippines. Uh. And they sent a helicopter to pick him up for prom and drop him off. Nah, that's Insane. so fire. Guess where? Where? Onto the school field, bro. Imagine, and the bro's coming out in a tuxedo and his date. Nah. Crazy. That, I would have the craziest. That's have some the... real princess protection program, bro. Oh my God. I would have the craziest, like, main character energy, bro. Insane. Like, e even when you're um in elementary school and you had, like, rich parents, mm -hmm. uh, when they're picking you up from school and they come in, like, a Lambo, Oh, yeah, you feel like the man. Oh, you, yeah, if you, you have a nice level. car and shit. Mm -hmm. Even just having McDonald's, you feel like the main character, oh, fam. facts, facts. McDonald's, you come in. No, no, you have to leave class early. Main character, mm -hmm. bro. Main character, Main character. What's, what's your most main character moment ever in life? Uh, I think it was recently when I was at a, a club. Yeah, when I got into a booth and then everyone's phones was just on me. Because, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call this? I think uh, someone noticed me say, I love it when someone's like, yo, Gavin. And then everyone starts to look. And yeah, then yeah. I was just up on doing the, the Uzi hip thing. The hips. And then all I see in the crowd is like a bunch of phones. And I felt like I was performing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was my main character moment. Okay. But I know we talked about this before. Yeah. But I dead ass. I've been watching Outer Banks recently, right? Okay. I dead ass want to be in like an Outer Banks <laughs> show, bro. Like looking for treasure and shit. Yeah. That's the number one thing. Fam, I feel like. Just the idea of having a puzzle to solve mm. and just going out and trying to solve it and there's mysteries and people chasing after you and stuff. Yeah. I feel like that's a dream. It is a dream, but I don't think I would be want to be in it. Why not? Why? Would you? Yeah, kind of. Hell no. That's like... That's like real... It's real adventure, fam. Because at least like... I think there's something about treasure hunting. You have a goal mm. and you can make it to that goal. But if you don't, so be it because you're trying to get there. Nah, because And it's very straightforward, no? Nah, it's not fair. Be careful what you wish for still. Because it's like... I'm going to be out like hunting for like yeah, a gold like, amulet. Yeah, but like a uh, fucking guy would be chasing you the whole time. You don't want that, bro. You don't... Mm. Like I'm telling you, this life is way too relaxing. You watch Outer Banks though, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's a there's an Outer Banks theory. Okay. So there's a theory mm. that John B's... John B's handkerchief yeah. is the miracle cloth that the old lady was looking for, bro. Mm. So, you know how the old lady, she was looking for that cloth that was inside the cross? Mm -hmm. Now, that cloth is supposedly supposed to help her so that she doesn't have cancer anymore as long as she touches it. Now, John B, right? Uh -huh. There was a moment in the show where he got hurt on his ankle okay. or on his leg. And all he had to do was tie the freaking bandana around his leg and he was able to start running and moving the car. Oh, hell now, check no. this out. Also, when Sarah Cameron got shot, she mm -hmm. got shot, her heartbeat stopped. And what happened? What? John B. was able to revive her even after her heart got stopped because you can see, like, he goes down and he gave up. He went like this to give up. But it touched her? But the neck, the, the bandana around his neck touched her on her heart. Oh, no. 
Yeah, that's confirmed then. Well, that's that's them. It's got it's gotta be it's gotta be the yeah. the cloth in the in the show. Fam. So why that grand? Oh no, I, I, so that grandma was looking for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. that that yo, you know what's crazy too? Mm. So, damn, this is a kind of deep story. I don't know if I talked about this before. Yeah, but my Lolo, he actually had stomach cancer before. Okay, but he was healed. Oh shit! He was healed by a real healer. Like he, this guy performed miracles. I, I, I think that. this guy's from from Toronto or something, somewhere. But my dad and the whole family, right? Mm-hmm. Like my aunts and uncles, they all went to this guy's house, and he would he would do prayers just over my Lolo. Yeah, prayers over my Lolo, prayers over my Lolo, and eventually his cancer was cured, and he didn't have it anymore. No now, medication. Yeah. Now get this, he gave and blessed this literally just like in outer banks yeah this cloth it was a linen mm. specifically like a linen and gave it to my aunt and that aunt, uh, that that linen my aunt gave to anybody that was sick in the family and they healed and check this out my aunt's friend got really 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 sick like hospitalized yeah she gave the cloth to her and she was healed so that's some. That's literally the it's plot. literally yeah. But the the crazy thing he that healer he passed away. Mm. But um, fuck, this is crazy. He gave my Lolo a hundred dollar bill. Yeah. And he told him, if you invest this hundred dollar bill, it will grow. Now this is coming from this guy that's performing miracles out here, right? Yeah. Check this out. Everybody in the family. They're like, why didn't you invest that hundred dollar? The hundred dollar bill was never invested, and my Lolo still carries it around in his wallet to this day. Oh shit! Yeah. Now, what's crazy too? Uh huh. My Lolo, he lost his wallet, and his wallet was stolen. Now, the only thing that was left in the wallet was the hundred dollar bill. What? The all the other cash was gone except for that one hundred dollar bill. Cause it was it was like in the back of it was in there so long it was in the back of like the yeah, leather and he found and it. it's the same one that stayed with him and he still has it. No, then he. I think he did the right thing then, because to, to hold on to it. No, no, listen, cause is your Lala like um he's still healthy and stuff like that? Yeah, fam. If he invested it, he chose health, and he can. No, heal. no, no. But he he told he was told by the healer to to invest it. Maybe that was a trick. <laughs> Maybe it's like if you invest it, you would you would have no nah, no 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 really it's, that's not what it is. He he wanted he wanted him to invest it. Oh, he word. he told him to invest it. Yeah, then the LL he sold the back stuff. <laughs> no, but, but I, I'm I'm thinking here now. I'm like, uh, is it ever too late? Maybe he's just yeah. Maybe he's just saving it. Maybe no, money was a like not an important thing to him. No, but just, what I'm saying like if you invest, let's say I invest that right now, fam. Yeah, you would probably get a you might grow. Yeah. No, that's that's a perfect test. Like, wait it out, see if it still has the effect it does. If this grows, yeah, for sure, that's. Confirmed. All right, so we're gonna start a new series on Jumper Jump. It's called Factor Cap, but we're gonna do superstitions and miracles. <laughs> we come back next podcast. Best equipment, <laughs> yo, upgraded equipment, diamonds. This all on is us. gonna be made out of jade from China, bro. <laughs> like, it's it's a fact. <laughs> like my my shit is gonna be crystal. <laughs> It should be some next tourmaline and I mean onyx like the most <laughs> fire chairs too like I'm sitting in a fucking throne <laughs> no dog the 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 freaking the leather's not even from a regular animal bro <laughs> from the <laughs> chupacabra <laughs> fam. it's like the, no bro this leather was washed in the blood of like squirrels <laughs> the padding the padding is from feathers of pigeons that that went to Africa <laughs> Why is it like the most like expensive things is like the most you know what's, weird? You know his jokes. My my uncle told me this, and yeah. I thought he was serious, right? Uh, <laughs> what do you say? My, my my uncle told me for the longest time, he's like, Carlos, we we need a rabbit's foot. I'm like, why? Why do we need a rabbit's foot? Yeah. It's like if you take a rabbit's foot and bring it to the graveyard on a full moon, uh, you'll be gifted with good fortune. I'm like what? For real? So we we were out looking for a rabbit's foot. Rabbit's what foot. The fuck? And then I realized he was joking oh. because he told me, okay, now we need an albino. <laughs> <laughs> so you need an albino guy to get the rabbit's foot and then go to the graveyard on a full moon. <laughs> this, guy, yo, this, guy, this guy just, I, I thought he was serious. I thought he was, he was serious until he's like, all right, we need an albino now.
<laughs> no, he added. Wait, an albino man? Yes. Oh yeah, I would have caught on. No, that's he. He made too. It was too specific. He made too much side missions. <laughs> If he kept it like that, then yeah, you would probably go out into that field. Like, little Carlos would be like... <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with a rabbit's foot, fam. Imagine he's just in the back like this. No, but rabbit's feet are lucky. Yeah, I know. They're actually lucky. But, like, that's too much. Like, why do you need a, a, a an albino man, bro? I think he said an albino man on a unicorn, actually. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, like, not... That, I thought he was serious for the longest time, though. Nah, that's, like, that's far. Yo, who knows, fam? Mm. Who knows? Like, what if you manifest that into reality? Yeah, what if you just make that shit up and you actually get powers from it? Yeah, bro. Because I remember... So this is what's crazy. This time mm -hmm. you manifestation was real. Mm -hmm. I was doing a magic trick with cards, right? Yeah. I was doing it to my sister. I didn't even know how to do the magic trick. Yeah. Check this out. I said, okay, this is your card. And I just started doing random shit with the cards. So <laughs> I was literally going like this and shit. I was literally going like this. But I, there's some reason I knew like, yo, it's going to be the craziest trick ever. I was literally saying like, abracadabra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I said, like I was saying some random. And then I picked a random card. I went like this. Yeah. This is your card. And it was, fam. No. It was her card. Nah. It was actually the card. No, I think I think that is a main character moment too. When like, if you're in front of a group, I th I don't I forget what I I did, but I was in front of a group and I called something. Yeah, and then it was actually right, and that shit is like main character. Mm. But no, the card that's so like rare, but it's it could be a fluke though. Honestly, anytime I win like a contest, yeah, I feel like a main character. Like anytime, exactly. And I remember we were at church one time, and it was like a you know that breakout group. Yeah. So. We all were sitting on chairs and said, okay, one of you guys has a prize, but it, only if you have a sticker underneath your chair. I was the only one with a sticker. Was. I look under it like, holy shit, I won this. <laughs> I won the lottery. <laughs> I won this. <laughs> but it's something like that. Yeah. It's not even, it just gave me faith in myself. Like some great things are going to happen to me in my Word. life. Yeah. It's, it's almost a ripple effect. You know what I mean? Yeah. So check this out. Anytime something good happens to you, it's almost a ripple effect because you always, always, always get another good thing happen to you again. Mm. Whether it just because your mindset, whether it just because you're on that frequency, you always receive again. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? No, that, that's, I think that's uh, putting out good energy and you're going to receive it back. Because mm -hmm. obviously, um, I think one of the things that you do is journaling. Yeah. So when, when I was journaling or writing in my notes, I don't journal, but I write in my notes. A lot of the times I was negatively shit talking i was just mm. shit talking in my notes and i could see the growth from when i was shit talking to actually putting like affirmation oh i uh thank god i was a uh, like i had a meal today and shit like that and shit just started to become positive mm. and like as soon as you switch that positive mindset you have life like yeah completed like i feel like that's the it's, it's because it's because a lot of the times we're focused on the wrong yeah. and then we we're blinded because we think the wrong is the right and, and it's, it's not just, it's just our, our knowledge of like oh this is what i think is right yeah you know what i mean mm. honestly like if you're religious mm. the bible is a good start on there's yeah. a lot there's a lot of good things in there fam mm. i know you know what's crazy about the bible though yeah did you know in jesus's language what he called god what he called didn't you say this what he called him he called God Allah in oh. Jesus's language. So in Christianity, God is actually Allah. Oh. But we don't hear that unless you're yeah. Muslim fam. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And what's crazy, because Jesus spoke, I think, Aramaic. Mm -hmm. And literally in Aramaic, God is Allah. Yeah. Now, what happened was with media or ever how the story was portrayed, mm -hmm. You know Jesus, he was he's not white. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. But every single picture we see him is white. White, almost like a surfer dude, long hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but over the time, like they chose certain things to push out and then almost separated us from the other. The other. Yeah, it's just mad, just division. They wanted us. They want you to fight. To, yeah. I know. Bro. You never have like why would you have to fight against somebody with a different religion than you? I don't know. There's no reason. Yeah, I respect if you have a higher power, that's your higher power. I'm not going to say yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Wrong. Everybody has their own walk of faith. Yeah. And why would you have to hate on somebody else if you think... It's just too... I, 
I feel like that should not happen in religion. Like that's I, exactly. every category. Yeah, you can do it whatever. Like fucking your basketball team, you can hate on another one. But religion, bro, that's supposed to be like all that's, good, no evil. Yeah, man. like every single one has positive in it. And yeah. why should you be hating on somebody else's way of finding positivity and zen in their life? That's insane. Yeah. Did you did you you did confirmation right? Yeah. Yeah, confirmation. I was in there for a long time still. What do you mean in there a long <laughs> like, time? Like oh, when, I think it was grade six. Oh no, well, when do you have confirmation? It's something in elementary school. You have in grade eight. In grade eight, yeah. 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 So I'm still a kid and shit like that. And I'm like, I'm, he's like, yo, tell me your sins. Like, what have you done? Mm. I'm like, yo, bro, I, I swear, like, <laughs> I do this, like, my. Oh father. no, you're talking about um reconciliation. Reconciliation, yeah, yeah, yeah that like was lower, it's lower. Like asking for forgiveness, <laughs> yo. And me as a kid, I went there, fam. I started crying. I was like, yo, is God gonna like kill me? <laughs> I was like, yo, I swear, I swear, I'm, I like, I I didn't do my chores <laughs> like that. Like, word. Fam, I, at least you got yeah. it all off your chest. But I though. think that was the first time I felt like, yo, I feel relieved. Mm. Yeah, like I felt so when you go back, myself. I don't know. It's too much. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, it's never too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I would probably go back. I'd probably go at some time. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah. Because I feel like nowadays, it's almost so taboo to even yeah. like take part. It's weird. It, no, it's it's taboo to try stuff. Yeah, it's weird, huh? Like if you go into like say uh, a Catholic guy goes into um uh, another religion's church. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Like what? <laughs> like, I what know. Do you mean like by that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even like say on lower level, bro. Artists trying experimenting new sounds. What the fuck is this? Mm. Immediately, if that's not what they like. Yeah. It's just a bunch of hate, hate, hate. You think Ye is the only person that can make religion cool? Ah. Uh, Nah, there's probably some some other people. Could you could you name another person? Oh, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? Yeah, probably if he has a hit song. No, Justin Bieber. Like he talks about God all the time. Oh, no? he does? Yeah. I, I never heard that in his song. I know he does. Ye does. And Ye kind of didn't make it cool yet though. Cause it's not like booming, booming. Like I mean a lot. He got people to go to church though. Yeah, that's true. He made his own church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Right, he did. Yeah, yeah. Yo, okay. So I saw this on TikTok. Mm. Apparently, there's certain things on your face that will show that you've been taken advantage of. So, specifically, Kanye West, right? You know those Atachi lines? You, you know oh, yeah. Atachi from Naruto? Uh -huh. How he has lines like this. Okay, yeah. But really long, right? Yeah. Now, apparently, I think in, in Chinese feng shui too, mm -hmm. if you have these lines that go down all the way from your eyes, it says... That your eyes are sunken because somebody has taken advantage of you. Oh, fuck. Now, the celebrity that has it, uh -huh. not only Itachi from Naruto. Who else? The man himself. Yay. Kanye Jeez. West. And you understand. Oh, visible and too. if you think about it, he didn't have that before. No way. It's just now? He didn't have that before. Look how long it is and very prominent. It goes all the way down to his beard. Now, think about his situation. Yeah. Well, I, even before, where people, where the businesses were taking advantage of his clothing brand, mm. and he wasn't getting his money, bro. He was literally being taken advantage of too. Oh fuck! Is there any other celebrities that have that? I don't know. You have to look around for it. Okay. But if you notice that, maybe that's a sign. And I think Itachi. If you think about it, in Naruto, yeah, Itachi, the hidden leaf used him. Yeah. And Itachi killed his whole clan. Bro. Because the hidden leaf told him to, so in a sense, Atashi was taken advantage of. See, that's some cool. Because he was a kid. Yeah. See, that's some cool shit that I learned now. Because now, if I see someone maybe in class that I'm talking to have those big lines, like super, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be just like, yo, I'm sorry, bro. He's gonna be like, what? Damn, bro. He's like, I'm gonna be like, I know your story. <laughs> yo, yo. I know it's okay. You can trauma dump. That's actually sad, bro. That's actually kind of sad. Like, if you see somebody and you recognize it, like. Yo, he needs help. Yeah, hope. like he needs help. Yo, that's but, sad. but imagine this theory is totally wrong. It's just, yeah, he's just getting old. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. maybe. <laughs> no, this is getting old, bro. <laughs> There's another face thing. I don't know if you heard about the, the un uncanny valley theory. What's that? So it's like, there's these pictures that are meant to make us like feel weird mm. because they're, they're robots or like they're not human, but they move human-like. So I'm going to give you an example. Mm. You watch Polar Express, right? Yeah. Polar Express is supposed to trigger that uncan. That oh, because the, the people look weird. It's yeah. like unsettling. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You kind of feel that weird. So if you if you felt weird in um Polar Express, you you feel me? You have the uncanny valley theory. Mm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure 
that effect happens for uh, Attack on Titan. Yeah. Because that Attack on Titan has that same like it's human but it's not human. And you, you know those uh, uh those robots with faces on them that yeah. kind of look like real humans. Mm. That's when you get it a lot. Word. Yeah. I remember. I remember in like elementary school there was this thing. Yeah. I forgot who sold, you know, those random facts like your, your friends tell you in elementary school. <laughs> so one of them was, if you don't have like this, this ridge oh, on ridge. your lip, yeah, I know that one. you don't have a soul. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was That's so crazy. happy that I had a ridge. Yo, yo. And then I look back, I'm like, damn, imagine somebody in the class didn't have it. Uh-huh. They would have been clowned. Like, yo, you have a soul. Facts, bro. bro facts. Damn. Did you have those moles? Yeah, I always I had like a third eye one and I have a middle one. Yeah, oh, what the fuck? I always had that. No, I've never noticed that on you. You never noticed that before? Never. I swear on everything. This I one, love. this one, right? It's right in the middle of my forehead. Yeah, like, I've a, never like a third know. eye. Yeah, what the hell? And I have another one. I thought so you just grew those. I have a theory for my moles because okay. I have exactly eight. Mm. And there's how many chakras? Oh, eight chakras. Wait, is there seven? Oh, seven. Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. No, but hold on. So I have one here. <laughs> here we debug. One, two. Three, I have one on my shoulder. Yeah. Boom. Four. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have one on my cheek. Five. I have one on my chest. I'm not gonna show my chest yeah, and my yeah. titties. <laughs> Six. My and then one on my finger. Seven. Okay. You probably have one more laying around somewhere, bro. Nah, I don't have any more. Okay, okay. That's seven exactly. Damn. And it all has like one, two, and they're all like, if you align them, fam. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do they make? <laughs> it, it, it makes a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> like line it up, bro. I thought you were gonna say some crazy shit. Nah. You did this, yo. Carlos did this, and I didn't know what the fuck he was trying. <laughs> you know the connect the dots shit. He makes a giraffe. <laughs> he makes Pikachu. Nah, that's jokes, bro. Yo. Nah, that would be some crazy shit though. Imagine no, that would be a crazy tattoo. Mm. Aligning all your moles. Mm. Just like straight, like I want the tattoo artist. Yo, you see this mole, this mole. Oh, make, that's kind of crazy. Make a picture out of this. That's hard. Nah, someone's got to do that. That's like kind of crazy. That's I'm, someone's got to do that. That's very creative. Oh, I think the other one's here. Seven. Yeah. Oh, that's eight then. Yeah, eight, eight. Mandela effect. I don't remember I had Mandela. this one. Oh, fuck. Also, I told you this. This only appeared like last year. I know. I have one. I have one on my back that just appeared too. I don't know what that means. I'm not really into that stuff. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll end it there. Thank you everyone for watching yeah. this episode of Jumpers on Podcast. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go watch my vlogs because I've been posting some vlogs. I've been working hard on it. So go check out my other channel, link in the description. Mm-hmm. And make sure to download those episodes on Spotify and Apple. We love you guys so much. And yeah, Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.